hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back uh, today i'm going to be reacting to last challenge and the best call i made that part 5 of 12 so without wasting time let's get into the video of a tree or a mountain you say for example you say the name of god almighty is rama if you know Hindu history, it conjures up a mental picture of a man. I have been reading the Ramayana, and immediately I know what, who you're talking about, that type of man. His wife was Sita, and she was abducted by the Ravana, the king of Ceylon, and he kept all the whole picture comes to you in your mind. The name is contaminated. Don't use such a name. Call him Moses. So no, immediately see yes, the man who liberated the Jews from the Egyptian bondage and in the Sinai, his people gave him endless trouble for 40 years and he moved and he died and so on, so on. A mental picture, out. Call him Jesus. See yes, the child born in the stable to a Jewish girl called Mary and he was circumcised on the eighth day and according to Christian law that he was crucified at the age of 30. Or 33, 33. Mental picture. His name is Muhammad, some fools might say. Immediately it conjures up a mental picture of a camel driver born in Mecca some 1400 years ago. His father's name was Abdullah, his mother's name was Amina, and so on and so on. Immediately you have a mental picture. Any name that produces a mental picture is not befitting Allah, is not befitting God. Any name. So in Islam, we are jealously guarding this name. Allah is his name. And this is the name of God Almighty even in the Bible. Which Bible? People keep on asking, which Bible? I said, look, there are dozens and dozens of versions. But in every version, the name Allah is there. Every version. Any version. There is a group of people, they call themselves Jehovah's Witnesses. They originate in America. They are the most militant group among the Christians. They are the fastest growing cult in the world today, Jehovah's Witnesses. That group of people, they're propagating throughout the world that the name of God Almighty is Jehovah. They go and ask other Christians, he says, what is the name of God? So you say, God. He says, God is not a name. God means an object of worship. You say, the God of the Hindus, gods of ancient Greece, God God is a name term applied to any object of worship. Like the Frenchman says, money my God, woman my guide. It's not a name. God is not a name. It's a title, an object. What's his name? He's a father. He says, your father is God? He says, no. What's his name? Then he would say his name is Jehovah. All right, for a moment we accept. But he says, you know, in the New Testament, in the original Greek, you say it was preserved in Greek. You said yes. The original revelation of God, he said yes. In the 27 books of the New Testament, the word Jehovah does not occur even once. Not once in 27 books in the original. So what kind of, na what kind of a name is this? If God Almighty inspires his book, why is he ashamed to put his, reveal his name? That means afraid. He's ashamed. Like saying, Saddam, my name is Saddam. Anyway, your child, maybe you have named him some, out of some love for the guy, but as the child is growing, is going to school, it'll be difficult for him, I'm Saddam, or in Western I'm Hitler. You don't say, I'm Hitler. Maybe you are an innocent man, you may be a priest, you may be a very kind, saintly person, but say, I'm Hitler. What's your name? Say, Hitler. What's my name? Say, Saddam. No, it's very, very difficult, you see. So now, is God ashamed of his own name? If that is his name, I say in the 27 books, the word does not occur even once. And you say God dictated it? He inspired it? You said yes. Then how is it that his name is not there? In the 27 books, not there at all. So we say, look, amazing thing. The name Allah is still there. In your book, they have their own translation called New World Translation. They don't accept this. Protestant Bible, they don't accept it. They have their own translation called New World Translation. I said, in your New World Translation, Allah is there. In the Zulu Bible is there. In the Arabic Bible is, has to be. In the 2,000 different languages in which the Christian world has translated the Bible, in the 2,000 different languages, the word Allah is there. It's not been, they have not been able to eliminate it. Amazing. 
So where is it? I said, look, you remember when Jesus Christ is supposed to have been on the cross, according to Matthew and, and Mark, or Luke, in two places, he's made to say, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. So I'm asking, does Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani sound to you like Jehovah, Jehovah, lama sabachthani? He says, no, unless there's some sickness in your ear. I said, listen, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Does that sound to you like Abba, Abba, lama sabachthani? Abba means father in Hebrew. He says, no. Then I said, listen. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani in Hebrew. Allah, Allah, lama taraktani in Arabic. Sound similar? Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. And say, Allah, Allah, lama taraktani. Sound similar? He said, yes. Then I said, in the book of Revelation, the last book of the New Testament, of the Bible, John the disciple, he sees a vision. And in the vision, he hears the angels in heaven singing, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I'm asking the Christians, have you heard that before? Yes. When the Christian goes into ecstasy, like we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. What does the Christian say? Alleluia, Alleluia. I said, right. I want to know what is Alleluia. Is it hippie hooray, hippie hooray? Is that what it means? No. What is Alleluia? I'm asking, what is Alleluia? Alleluia, you see, the Arabs and the Jews, we begin with an exclamation in our language. It's the genius of the language. Alleluia, we start with ya. That's the genius of Arabic and Hebrew. I say, ya akhi, oh my brother, ya ummi, oh my mother, ya Allah, oh Allah. We start with ya, you, the Westerner, ends with ya, meaning exclamation mark. You say, fire, exclamation mark. Stop. You say exclamation mark. Your thing ends, your exclamation is at the end, our starts with the beginning. So, Allah is Ya Allah Lu, Ya Allah Lu, Ya Allah Ya Allah I said, that is what we are singing. We are singing, the Muslim is singing. Oh Allah, you are the only being who deserves worship and praise. Oh Allah, you are the only being who deserves worship. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, on the cross, Allah, 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 my Allah, my Allah, my Allah, my Allah. This is his name, as it is there to be found today. But people, the name gets stuck in the throat. The name gets stuck. They don't want to hear that word. So when I tell them, I says, you know, in my meetings, in my country, and other places in the Western world, when sometimes the Christian comes along and he asks a question, and all the other Christians shout, Hallelujah! They have done it. You see, this, you have done it. Great. In other words, saying, hippie hooray, hippie hooray. So I said, wait. So I started explaining. I said, you see, thank you very much for praising the name of the Lord. And what you're saying is that, oh Allah, you be praised. And I said, I thank you very much because this is how the word comes about. Ya Allah, lu, ya, is Ya Allah, lu, Ya Allah, hu, Ya Allah, hu, Ya Allah. Hu. Thank you very much for reminding the people that praise the Lord, praise Allah. No more, no more hallelujahs. Believe me, no more hallelujahs. You just explain to the guy, said, look, this is what you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank him for it. And no more hallelujahs. Finish his silence for good. So how are Mr. Chairman and my dear brothers and sisters? You see, I, I, can, I can continue talking to you on the different aspects of the final call. Let me say about the final call. When that letter was sent, in that... In the middle of that letter was Say, Oh people of the book, let us get onto a common platform in the worship of the one true God. And that we associate no partners with him. And that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. But if they turn back, Tell them that we are Muslims. We have submitted our wills to the will of God. That is the final call, the last call, the best call. Can we find another? We've submitted our will to God is quite a, uh, is a powerful statement. Um, I love how he uses the thank you for saying his name and people shut up. I'm actually shocked people keep quiet after that. Um, I love the similarities that he brought about where hallelujah is Allah Akbar, something like that. 
and um, other stuff you try to relate as well. I think I, I've, I've always been of the opinion that find the commonness in each and every religion, you know. If you understood some of the terms, maybe you would ap appreciate the other religion more. Whichever way it is, whether Christian, Islam, um, Judaism, whatever it is, you know. Find the common things, see what you love about them. Because if you love them in the Bible, you should love them in the Quran. You should love them in the Torah and the other books that exist, you know. You can't say you believe in one God, but then hate the other God in the other Bible. It doesn't make sense. Otherwise... At the end of the day, I love how how um, how these videos that are last um, are called last challenge and the best call um, are talking about dialogue. I feel like they're talking about dialogue, not just this video, but um, the others as well. Dialogue among different religions, because here we have this particular video that I'm reacting to today. It's talking about the similar things. And if there's anyone from outside Islam that's watching this, if you don't appreciate such a simple video, then I don't know, you know. Some things are worth, um, not screen our mind, what word can I use? Messing our minds up so that we can have a dialogue about them. Find a friend, talk about it. It can be of the same religion, different religions, and just see where that conversation goes. And, I mean, I mean, did that was doing a very very good job i don't know about what you think about this video uh let me know what video you want me to react to comment below the name or the link i'll check it up make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video